Koala is an intrauterine pressure catheter with state-of-the-art technology that reliably provides intrauterine pressure measurements, which include the baseline pressure, frequency, duration, and intensity of uterine contractions. This enables the clinician to better evaluate the effectiveness of the contractions and the progress of labor. Koala's sensor tip technology makes it very simple to use. In fact, it can be done in four steps. Step one, connect the reusable cable to the monitor. Step two, remove the catheter from its package. Step three, insert the catheter. Step four, zero the monitor and then connect the reusable cable to the catheter. Step one is to connect the reusable cable to the monitor. Step two is to open the pouch. Peel pouch from Chevron about halfway down. The inner bag keeps the catheter within the sterile field and allows an aseptic handoff to the inserting clinician, if necessary. When ready, remove the catheter from the package. Step three is to insert the catheter. After confirming that membranes are ruptured and the cervix is adequately dilated, perform a vaginal exam and palpate the fetal presenting part to determine optimal position for catheter placement. Insert the catheter to the cervical os with the introducer secured between examining fingers. Gently advance the catheter into the uterus while maintaining the introducer at the level of the cervical os. When the catheter has been advanced approximately 10 to 14 centimeters into the uterus, text pause for flashback should be visualized at the bottom of the introducer. At that point, it is important to pause to visualize amniotic fluid flowing in the catheter lumen. Then advance the catheter until the 45 centimeter mark is at the introitus, indicating tip placement of the catheter is at the fundus. Ensure the stop mark on the catheter is visible outside of the vagina. If placement does not proceed easily or amniotic fluid is not visualized in the catheter lumen upon initial advancement, pull back the catheter tip to the introducer and change the angle of insertion and determine an alternate position for placement. Evidence of blood in the lumen of the catheter indicates extraovular placement, that is placement of the catheter outside of the membranes. If there is evidence of extraovular placement, the catheter should then be withdrawn and reinserted while pausing for amniotic fluid flashback. Once proper intraamniotic placement has been achieved, remove the introducer from the catheter. Slide it off while using your finger or the catheter connector as a ramp. Secure the catheter to the patient's thigh near the introitus using the included adhesive pad. Dry the patient's skin and wrap the patch around the catheter prior to application. Step four is to zero the monitor and then connect the reusable cable to the catheter. Koala's True Zero feature ensures electronics are appropriately calibrated and referenced to atmospheric pressure. After zeroing the monitor, insert the proximal end of the catheter into the reusable cable connector. Listen for the click sound indicating proper connection. This must be done last to ensure proper system setup. The benefit of the Koala system is that you can double check the setup at any time. You can easily do this by confirming amniotic fluid in the catheter lumen and disconnecting the catheter from the cable. Then re-zeroing the monitor and confirming electronic function by verifying zero is displayed on the monitor without the indication of an error. Then reconnecting the reusable cable to the catheter after 15 seconds. If the clinician has determined the need to troubleshoot the Koala intrauterine pressure catheter system after placement, follow these steps. Verify the presence of amniotic fluid in the catheter lumen. If amniotic fluid is not present, question the placement of the catheter. Presence of blood in the lumen of the catheter is suggestive of extraovular placement outside of the membranes. Disconnect the catheter from the cable and confirm zero on the fetal monitor. The catheter may also be flushed with 10 to 20 milliliters through Koala's amnioport. 
or optionally rotated, advanced, or retracted slightly. Replace the blue vented cap with the clear tethered cap after flushing. It is important to ensure the reusable cable is disconnected from the catheter during troubleshooting. Always reconnect the reusable cable to the catheter as a last step. Thank you for watching today. Additional resources can be found on our website, or you can also contact your local sales representative. Please refer to the instructions for use for all warnings, contraindications, and complete instructions for use.